hey hey welcome back to the channel it's your girl Katrina and I'm back with today's video the video you guys have all been waiting for the box that's been sitting on my garage floor for the longest that you have been dying for me to open well I finally got my printer out the box today I'm gonna show you how I made my very first print with my eye color 650. I'm gonna tell you in today's video how I set everything up, how I got everything started, how I printed, how I pressed it, and how I made my son his first t-shirt. I'm gonna just stop talking and share this awesome printer with you, the eye color 650 from Uninet. Let's go. Box, my brand new white toner printer from Uninet, the iColor 650 baby. Let's go ahead and unpackage this because I'm going to save this for later. This is a box um, of accessories, I believe, and even that is heavy. Let's go get one of these. Let's see if this can cut through that. There's a staple in here. I'm going to have to get a like the staples all in here. I have to get a hammer or something. Okay, I got the one. I don't know if it's gonna cut through there. Let's see. I don't wanna. Yeah, we not trying to break my blade. I need that. We not playing no games over here. So let's see. I'm just gonna, cause I don't wanna hurt my hand either. So, and I know I'm opening it the right way because it had lift a certain way. You see all those nails? Oh yeah. They didn't mean for nobody to get into this. All right, there we go. Ooh, that's a thick box. Y'all see that box? Ooh, baby. Okay. All right, I wanna be careful not to drip myself in here. here this is the transformer and it is heavy that is heavy the transformer baby okay I don't know what this is let's pull this out the sleeve okay this is a cartridge it's like I'm not sure what color it is yet so I'm, I gotta look at everything that came with it so I'm gonna put that aside and it has pockets in here, but I'm not going to be able to... This is going to be a workout. So now this box, of course, it says two people. It literally says two people, but it's just one of me. And it has a handle. It has something where the top just comes off the bottom. But I can't get to it. So let's see if we can lighten the load. Let's see if we can lighten the load. Y'all, this is a big printer. That's a big printer. So, it comes with all this information, and I know there's like a six hour class or six hours worth of videos for tutorials and training that I have to take. So, I had to open the box to get to it. It's in here somewhere. Um, this is like an instruction um, card or the quick start guide. Can't start nothing until I get it out the box, right? This is quite comical. There's a six hour master class that you have to take because this printer can do so much. I'm going to be bringing you guys a lot of videos on this printer. So today's first video, I'm pausing. I'm going to um, take the class and I'm going to come back, finish setting the printer up. Of course, there'll be no time gap or delay for you guys, but I want to make sure I have all the information so that way I know exactly what I'm doing. And then I'm going to start all my future videos on this white toner. Yes, I know you guys know I previously had the Luminaris. But once I saw this one, and once the Luminaris, you know, the split feature and everything was gone, but that split feature software that I had talked about before prior, it's 
from Uninet. Like all the features that, we're not gonna even get into all that. I'm just letting you guys know if you're in the market for a white toner now, currently, today, you need to look at, I believe it's the 550 or the one that I have is the 650. But I'm gonna go do my masterclass, get some snacks, and then I'm gonna come back, have it out the box, and we're gonna get started. Without further ado, welcome to the channel. This is my official unboxing for my brand new iColor 650. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure your notification bells are turned on so you don't miss any of my future white toner videos. So luckily my contractors had to come back by to put up my sign and I got them of course to lift my printer. Big shout out to Twan, lifting it like it was nothing. They got it in place for me. Now I can get started with my white toner. So I have everything laid out. I'm gonna unbox this in just a second. I have everything that I need, quick start guide, white toner, beginner notebook. And of course, the, I believe this is the black cartridge, but I'll double check that. So I'm actually also watching the masterclass and I am going to start setting everything up. So I won't bore you with every single step. I'm just following the quick start guide. There's also videos and there's also a digital manual. So that way you can follow along to set your printer up correctly. So that's what I'm doing now. So there's all the cartridges. And now I can pull each one out. So I'm going to just take off the wrapping for each one, just like so. Pull it out. This one is the cyan, and this is gonna be interchangeable. So I'll explain that later on. But as for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead, take all the wrappings out. So on the back, I'm just lifting that little piece of tape right here to remove that. This one is the yellow. And everything is marked on the side, so that way you can see it. Real simple and easy. Being very careful. This one is the magenta. And then this one. All right, let's lift it up. Ooh. And now this one is the let's see which color this is please note on the white toner and drum unit the blue toner handle is already in the lock position so the blue toner handles which are these they're already in the lock position only remove the orange film okay perfect so i'm just going to take the tape off everything is noted with instructions for you so you don't mess up so i'm going to put this one back in and this one says the white. So it says FW, so I'm assuming this one is the white. And so you can see earlier, it came with an extra one. This one says K, K black. I'm assuming that's what this one is, the black one. Cause it did say, so I did see where it said somewhere else where it said the black. I don't know why they did, didn't just put B, but they put K. So you can interchange them. So this one was the only one that was in the lock position. As you can see, this one is already down. So these are unlocked. So now I'm just going to lock them all. And I just noticed, so I'm getting ready to close this, but I just noticed that all the configurations are up here as well, as well as on the quick start guide. So I'll explain the different configurations. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close this down. So now I'm just gonna close this. I gotta make sure this is all the way down. All right, make sure you hear that click. And there we go. Okay, so I'm getting ready to connect the power. And I was getting really confused because at first all I saw was this cord has like the two prongs. So I believe that plugs into here. This is the transformer. It's really heavy, really, really heavy. Yes, and I can see that it goes into here so it comes with a transformer that looks like this and there's a plug on the back of that so the end of this goes into the back of this white toner this one goes right into the transformer so you just have to make sure it fits and now I'm gonna plug this one into the wall all right we working it out never mind this old white toner over here we're not using that one no more. We got this one. 
So I'm just going to fix the cord so it's not looking crazy. You'll be able to see the power button on this side uh, when it's on. I'm going to power this on for the very first time. And I believe you have to cut it on here first. So there's a power button back here. I'm going to flip that to on. Light goes red. And now we're going to turn this on. So it comes with a USB A to B mail and it comes with the cable UTP Ethernet. So I'm pretty sure I won't use this one because I'm going to be using my Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. So now I'm following along step by step and I'm at the part where I'm downloading the ProRip software. It is going to come with your printer no matter which version you get and you will need a Windows PC to install the software. Well, now I'm going to cut this on. This little button I couldn't find for the longest but this is the power button right here. I'm going to turn that on. Now the machine turns on for the very first time. This is the power save button. So at first I thought that was the power button, but it's not. Power button is down here, bottom left hand corner. So now I'm gonna finish setting up my installation. I'm gonna set it up to the Wi-Fi, and then I'll be ready to do my first prints. And over here, it's getting ready to find the machine. So now my installation is complete. So I'm gonna finish this up, and then I'll be ready for some test prints, guys. So now that I have my white toner set up pretty much, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this because this contains all the materials that I'm going to need. So let's see what all we got. And let's look at all the materials that I got. Just throw it over there. So right off the top, I see that I have the UniNet i2570. This is the eye color siliconized craft paper. So this, I believe, is much better than the Teflon paper. I've seen a lot of people using the craft paper instead. So now I'm going to be using the craft paper instead of the Teflon paper. And that looks like quite a few sheets. All right. And I also have the textile sample paper kit. Oh, this is like packed in here. I also have the textile sample paper kit, so I'll see what that is in just a second. And of course, I have the hard surface um, sample paper kit. There's so many different things that this printer can do. So you're going to be seeing tons of video. So this is for hard surface paper. And of course, the two step paper. This is the paper you need right away. You can tell this is a large paper size because the old white toner I had only did um, regular letter and A4. So right away you can see that I have A3 paper size. So this is a two step. This is the A paper. And this one is the B paper. Oh yes, we're gonna have lots of fun. So this is, I believe it's either 11 by 16. I'll double check, but it's um, A3. And right now I can't remember exactly the size. And here we have, oh Lord, baby is heavy. This is really heavy. This is the eye color select two step transfer adhesive paper kit for light and dark textiles. All right. So here we go right here. It says the 11.7 by 16.5. Okay. 11.7 by 16.5. So this is that. And of course, last but not least, the T-seal finishing sheet. Everyone has to have this if you're doing white toner. This is going to be your final press. This is going to embed your image into the fabric and just make it so much softer. The T-seal sheet. So I have another one of these and I'll show you exactly how to use it. Now that I have all my materials, let's get started. So you definitely want to take your time and go through the white toners beginner notebook because it has all the different instructions that you're going to need. Um, gives you the table of contents. It tells you how to set everything up, but this gives you all the different types of transfer papers, it explains everything um, from your A and your B. It tells you about the rip software. 
Um, it has a lot of information in here, but I'm specifically looking for the Wi-Fi instructions because there, I was told there's a few steps that you need to do to configure the printer to set it up for Wi-Fi. Right now I have it um, running through my USB, but I'm definitely going to check out the manual so that way I can learn how to set it up for the Wi-Fi. And it looks like they have some notes pages. So depending upon the type of media or substrate that you are using, you can take notes in here and you can store this so that way whenever you're printing and pressing a specific type of material substrate or using different types of paper because you can use so many different styles of paper with this you want to store the information so that way you can always refer back to it so this is a great little beginner's notebook so now I'm gonna load the paper into the printer I'm using the select A and B standard two-step paper transparent film one side is glossy the other side is matte and it's kind of coated so you can kind of scratch the side if you see that it comes up that's the principal side so again the matte side the powder coated um, side is the principal side the glossy side is the back so this particular um, printer has two trays so this is going to be your main tray right here at the top the bypass tray that opens out but there's also a bypass tray at the bottom this one is going to be more so for your solid paper non-transparent so because this is transparent it's telling me to put it up here so I'm going to extend it just like so and I'm going to insert it face up principal side face up if I was putting it in the bottom one it would tell me face down and now I'm ready to print so as you saw when I unboxed the paper, I had two different types. One is the regular standard um, eye color paper. This one is the select one. So this one is more durable, lasts a little longer. It says you can get up to 30 to 50 washes, depending upon how you use it. And it gives brighter colors, especially on darks. So there are different papers. So you'll get the regular standard two-step eye color paper for textiles. But you can buy this one as well. Um, additional comes just like the other one, um, comes in different sizes. But the select one is supposed to be a little bit more durable and of course it gives more vibrant colors and then they also have another one for ultra bright colors so I'm using the select one now because I'm gonna be putting on a dark shirt and I want to make sure those colors pop so let's go ahead send my design to print I'm gonna be using some of the stock images that um, that UniNet had sent over in the file so now I'm gonna be using the rip software and I'm going to print for the very first time right now and I still haven't set my printer up with the Wi-Fi I'll be doing that I just have to go through a few steps to configure it but for right now I am using the USB so make sure you have the correct port in when you're doing that so you can do USB printing you can also do the Ethernet cable or you can do Wi-Fi either way and you must have Windows so just letting you know I'm using a laptop that's why I'm not using my Mac so you do have to have Windows in order to run the RIP software first prints let's see it's going through and let's see it come out at the top That was super fast. There was no delay. I didn't pause the camera. There was no cut. That was how it came out. This is my first image. This is the A sheet. Now we're going to marry it to the B sheet. Let's go on over to the heat press. Bye. So of course I'm going to be using my brand new Fusion IQ. I'm going to go to the settings and I already input the standard two step paper and it's gonna warm up to my desired temperature, 315 degrees. I'm gonna be pressing it for 120 seconds because I need to heat up the bottom platen first. And then I'm gonna be, and I'm gonna be using a pressure of eight. Pressure of eight, you wanna use medium to firm pressure. So I'm gonna go let that heat up and then I'll be back. So I'm taking this up to 120 seconds because you wanna heat the bottom platen at 120. And then you also wanna make sure that you're pressing the A and B sheets together for 120 seconds as well. And for my pressure, I'm gonna make sure it says eight. Every paper is different. So this particular paper that I'm using, it said eight. Okay. And now that my bottom platen is hot, because you definitely need a hot surface, now I'm gonna lay this on here, shiny side down, 
printable side up and I'm gonna apply my B paper you're always gonna have or should have on your paper some part that's going to have the watermark on the back so this is gonna be the back the adhesive is on this side I'm gonna fold up a corner so that way I'll be able to pick it up really fast I'm gonna cover it with the Teflon and this time I'm gonna marry the images together and I'm gonna press for 120. Okay. You wanna remove this right away. You wanna take a cloth or a fabric or something just to rub while it's still on the platen. You do not wanna remove this from the platen. And the small portion, you wanna do that within a few seconds because you only have a small window to remove so you're going to go really slow. You're going to keep the A sheet on the platen and you want to be very careful because you don't want it to break. So as I'm separating the B sheet from the A sheet, notice that it's still low. You want it to remain on the platen, that heat, and you don't want to let go like I just did. You want to try to do it in one swoop the eye came off you got to be very careful so this one is my first attempt but as you can see it's breaking away some of the stuff is coming off so I definitely have to get more better I have to get comfortable this is a new paper that I'm working with you want to keep it on the platen so some of the stuff is not transferring so I'm going to do it again because I didn't get a clean sweep so we're going to try it again we want everything to stick we want everything to stick so I reheated the bottom platen again after I printed out the second image so I'm going to now lift this pull out the platen and of course I'm going to put now the second image on and now I'm going to put on the second sheet. Of course, I'm going to bend it. I'm going to cover it with the Teflon and I'm going to press again, 310 degrees Fahrenheit, 120 seconds. Pressure is on firm. Okay. I'm going to try this again. Remove that. It says to use like a, a fabric cloth for better results I don't have one so I will be getting one you just want to lift it from the corner and you're gonna take your time and you're gonna peel slow in the very beginning so that way you can make sure that there's no break make sure everything transfers you want to keep that a paper really low to the platen close to the heat and as close to the center of the platen as possible when you get to the middle, you can pick up speed just a little bit. Oops. But you want to make sure that there's no break. I have two images, so being very careful. As I get closer to the end, I'm going to slow down because I want to make sure that everything transfers much cleaner much cleaner than the first time as you can see only one little dot right there and right there so that's a pretty good transfer but just my second time using this and here it goes that's what it looks like all right so now let's press it on the shirt i'm gonna separate it so now the next step is you want to cut away the adhesive, cut away the sides because there will be some adhesive residue and you do not want that to transfer onto the shirt. It will show, especially on a dark fabric. So always trim away the sides. I'm going to separate them and I'm going to press it. So now I'm going to use this super soft t-shirt and I'm going to make my son a shirt for the very first time using the Hot Tronics heat press. I'm just going to pre-press this 
for five seconds, get the moisture out. And now I'm gonna do my son's transfer. Just make this like that. I'm gonna bring it up. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna cover this with the Teflon. And now I'm gonna bring this over and I'm gonna press this for 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Okay, have to let this cool down. It is a cold peel, so now I'm just gonna take it off the platen and let it cool down. All right, now I'm going to peel it. You wanna take it and peel back whole one end of the shirt. And you're just going to rub, you're gonna roll back nice and slow to remove the image. Clean break. Okay. And now it has like a little shiny finish to it, but I'm gonna use this finishing sheet as opposed to a Teflon sheet. So this is gonna give it a much better finish, lasting, gives it a longer lasting durability. I'm gonna press this at 25 seconds. Move that out the way. And you don't have to rush to remove this because sitting on it allows it to embed into the fabric just a little bit longer. You want to remove it. And now, and now you have a nice smooth finish into the shirt. Look at that. I did it a little bit too low, but my son will like it nonetheless. Nice and soft and smooth. Let me know what you guys think. First white toner transfer image. So I did my very first prints. I did my very first pressing. Made my first t-shirt with the iColor 650. Now I will say this printer can do a lot. It can really do a lot. I haven't even scratched the surface. I just want to go through the unboxing, go through the setup, and just go through a first print with you. I'm still doing my master class. There is a six hour master class that comes with it. Yes, that's gonna teach me all the rasterization, all the different special um, materials and different textiles and papers that you can use. Because as I stated earlier, you can do underprints, you can do overprints. You can even turn this printer into a sublimation printer. You can do water slides. They have all types of metallic things. There's a lot that you can do with this printer and I'm going to learn it all. So being that this printer is so versatile, of course it comes with a hefty price tag. Of course it's an investment, but this one is the bigger one. There is an 800, which is more of like a commercial one, but I have the 650. There is a smaller one, the 560, which is a little cheaper than the one that I have. That one starts at around 3,600. That's the base price. Every one you can get the printer, you can get bundles. There's different packages you can get. So just go down below in the description box, click the link, look at the site, see what you want if you're interested. So this printer is definitely an investment. So the 560 starts at around 3,600. Of course, mine is gonna cost much more. If you are interested in the printer, go on the website. You know, it doesn't hurt to look, but all I'm telling you is just go on the website and look. This, I would say, is a much safer route than doing DTF. So if you're looking to get into doing your own transfers, scaling your business, growing your business, and you want something that's gonna print on a large scale, larger scale and it does have the smart cut so the um, both of the printers the 560 and the 650 you can do the smart cut feature if you don't know what I'm talking about where you can split the images because as you know when I had the luminaris they took that feature away this comes with it you don't have to buy it separately it comes with this printer now unless you're printing much bigger than this you won't technically, you know, need it with the 650. If you have the 560, I think it prints smaller, so you'll probably use that one a lot bigger. I think the 560 only prints up to legal size. I'm not sure. I, I believe that's from off of memory. That's me going off of memory. I don't have that printer. I knew I wanted the bigger one. So 
you can still, if you need to print bigger than this, you can still do the split feature. It comes with it. Comes with the RIP software. Um, you'll get your standard two-step paper. And of course, if you want anything extra, then of course, you can check on the different bundles and buy it separately. Listen, I love the printer. I knew I wanted it from day one once I seen it. And then I saw it again in Long Beach. So I knew I had to have it. So I got mine from UniNet. There are only three, I believe there are only three white toner printers, three white toner companies and they pretty much all use the UniNet um, software features or whatever it's called. So UniNet has the patent on the, um, the smart cut, that split feature, and they have the patent on like the underwrite and all that stuff. So if you're gonna get a white toner, you might as well get it from the one who created the technology and stuff in the first place. I believe in going to the best. So I didn't know about all of that before I had the Luminaris, but now, I got the best white toner on the market. So guys, definitely thanks for watching. I'm gonna be bringing you a lot more videos, a lot more tutorials because there's so much. I haven't even scratched the surface with this printer. But I'm gonna end it here. Come back for more. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on your notification bells. And as always, keep pressing. I will see you guys in the next video. See you later. Love you, bye.